Good morning, children. In our last video, we have started with the fourth chapter, that is <coughs> Animal Kingdom. Today, we'll continue with the same. We are going to start with the first phylum, that is phylum Porifera. About this phylum, we are going to study different uh, characteristics, so you can say features or basis of classification. The number one is grades of organization. In other words, you can say body organization. Then we'll study about body symmetry, germinal layers, coelom, habit and habitat, then digestive system, respiratory system, circulatory system, reproductive system. We are going to study about some unique features of the members belonging to this phylum. And lastly, we will study the examples. So let us study about this phylum in detail. Phylum Porifera. The first feature is grades of organization, that is body organization. Sponges show cellular level of organization. The cells are almost independent, that is cooperating very little with one another in the function. Each and every cell perform all the functions of the body. Then moving to the second feature that is symmetry. The cylindrical form which is the sycan show the radial symmetry while sponges show irregular shape and have no symmetry. So they are asymmetrical. Okay, then talking about the germ layers or the germinal layers, they are diploblastic. That is have ectoderm and endoderm. Okay, then body cavity or coelom, the sponges have a large cavity called spongocil. It opens to the outside by a terminal opening called osculum. While others are acylomate. Then number five is habit and habitat. Okay, if we talk of habitat, then they are mostly aquatic. That is, they are uh, marine and some of them are freshwater. They are found in ponds and lakes. Example is spongilla. If we talk of habit, then they are sedentary, means they remain attached to the substratum. They are solitary, means they live singly or colonial, means lives in groups. You can see the pictures of different uh, porifera in the slide. Okay, then moving to the systems of the members belonging to phylum porifera. The first system is the digestive system. Okay, digestive system is absent, but digestion in animals of this phylum is intracellular. That's, that is inside the cells. Digestion occurs inside the cells. Okay. Then respiratory system is also absent. But it occurs through the body surface by diffusion. Exchange of gases occurs through the body surface. And it is by diffusion process. That is movement of the gases from higher concentration to the lower concentration through the membrane. Okay. Then circulatory system is also absent, but the amoeboid cells transport food from ingesting cells to other cells of the body. Then reproduction. Sponges reproduces both asexually and sexually. Asexual reproduction occurs by budding or gemmules or internal birds or by fragmentation and sexual reproduction involves the fusion of ova and spermatozoa. 
they are hermaphrodite means male and female sex organs are present in this single individual in the same individual only both the uh, organs male reproductive organs and the female reproductive organs are present okay and fertilization is internal that is it takes inside the body fusion of <coughs> male and female gametes takes place inside the body okay that is sperms of one sponge are carried by water current to the ova of another sponge for fertilization and development is mostly indirect means larval stage is present okay so as it is indirect the larval stage which are called parenchymula or amphiblastula are produced let us study about some unique features of the animals belonging to this phylum like they have canal system individuals belonging to phylum porifera have canal system which is one of the most important features of sponges canal is the network of channel channels called the canal canals which connect the spongocil to the outside through ostia the canals are lined by the conocytes and it maintains the constant flow of water from ostia to osculum through spongocil it helps in gathering the food or it helps in nutrition <coughs> respiration reproduction and excretion i have just now explain you that spongocils and canal they are lined by the specialized cells which are called conocytes that helps in maintaining the constant flow of water from ostia to osculum spongocil is the body cavity okay that is found in the sponges then body is supported by spicules and spongin fibers here in the diagram you can see this are the spicules up to j these are the spicules and this one is the spongin fibers right so body uh, has the spicules and the spongin fibers through which the body will get the support this are the various examples of uh, members or animals belonging to phylum porifera that is cycan you can see this is the cylindrical form spongilla which is a fresh water sponge and the bath sponge okay that is u spongia right so children um, with this okay we will see the characteristics at a glance of phylum porifera okay cell uh, the members or animals of the phylum porifera are cellular there is no division of labor mostly they are asymmetrical some of the forms cylindrical forms like cycan are radial germ layers means they are diploblastic they have two layers of cells okay there are two layers of cells number 1 is ectoderm and the number 2 is endoderm most of them are acelomate but uh, members like organisms like sponges have the large cavity which is called the spongocil the spongocil is also called paragastric cavity and this cavity opens by an opening at the terminal region which is called osculum they are aquatic organisms mostly the marine some of them are fresh water also okay they are sedentary means they remains attached to the substratum 
सम ऑफ देम आर सॉलिटरी और कोलोनियल सॉलिटरी मीन्स दे लिव अलून दे लिव सिंगली एंड सम ऑफ देम दे लिव इन कॉलोनीज डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम इज एबसेंट बट डाइजेशन टेक्स प्लेस इन साइड द सेल सो इट इज इंट्रा सेल्युलर डाइजेशन इवन रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज एबसेंट सर्क्यूलेटरी सिस्टम इज ऑल्सो एबसेंट but respiration occurs through the body surface by the movement of the gases from the region of higher concentration to the region of lower concentration which is called diffusion okay then circulatory system is also absent but the amoeboid cells they transport food from the ingesting cells to the other cells of the body then reproduction is of both the types asexual and sexual asexual reproduction occurs by budding or by gemmules or by internal buds and by fragmentation whereas sexual reproduction uh, takes place by the fusion of ova and, and spermatozoa but the organisms are hermaphrodite that is both the reproductive organs are present in the single individual so sperms of one sponge are carried by the water current to the ovum of another sponge for the fertilization and development is indirect that is larval stage is found in the animals belonging to phylum porifera and the larval stages are called parenchymula or amphiblastula some unique features of this members are they have water canal system which is very important feature of the sponges canal system is the network of channels called the canals which connect the spongocil to the outside through ostia right then the canals are lined by the specialized cells which are called conocytes which maintains the constant flow of water from ostia to osculum through spongocil and body is supported by spicules and spongin fibers spicules are the uh, small structures pointed or tapering structures you can say okay and the spongin fibers are also present in the body wall different examples of animals belonging to phylum porifera are cycan spongilla and euspongia clear so with this we have completed the phylum i hope i hope this phylum is clear to everyone so that's all for today in our next video we will be learning about phylum cylindrata or nidaria Thank you